Mr. Nick, Mr. Nick, he's our pig. It's Mr. Nick. Yay! Hey, everybody. Welcome to the Mr. Nick Show, and I'm your host, Mr. Nick. Today, we are going to be talking about all different types of air transportation. What does that mean? That means we are going to be talking about different types of vehicles that can get you from one place to another in the air. First, let's talk about an airplane. Have you ever been on an airplane? I would say an airplane is the most popular type of air transportation. That's how most people get from one place to another in the air. This is a commercial airplane, and this is what most people travel on when they go on an airplane. But there are other types of airplanes too, like this one. This is an airplane that people can do tricks in and go, whoa, whoa, loop-de-loops and swirly doos and all kinds of tricks in this type of an airplane. Would you ever want to be in an airplane that was doing tricks and flips and going upside down? I don't know. Could be a little scary, but maybe a little fun. Now, an airplane uses engines and wings in order to fly. But this next mode of transportation we're going to look at doesn't have an engine or wings. It's a hot air balloon. A hot air balloon is a large basket attached to a gigantic balloon. And they use a flame to produce heat to blow up the balloon. And then the balloon, because of the heat, starts to go up, 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 up into the air. That's crazy. No engine, just heat in a balloon and you're sitting in a basket? I've done it before. It was fun. Until we had to land. That was a little scary. But a hot air balloon is also a way that you can get from one place to another in the air. And you know what's pretty crazy is that there's no engine. There's no wings. There's no propeller. So how do you get from one place to the other? The wind blows you from one place to the other. So you really don't have a lot of control of where you're going in a hot air balloon, except for up and down. But other than that, it's wherever the wind wants to take you. Pretty fun. Pretty crazy. Next, let's talk about something that does have an engine. A very strong, large, powerful engine. A rocket. Or we could also call it a spaceship. That gets you from one place to the other in the air, from the ground, all the way up to outer space. Yeah, they go straight up all the way to outer space. Pretty amazing, if you ask me. Really strong rocket engine. Three, two, one. Blast off! Did you see any of the Mr. Nick episodes that we did about outer space? We talked about the sun and the moon and all the planets. Yeah, that's how astronauts get to outer space is on a rocket or a spaceship. The next mode of air transportation I want to talk about is a helicopter. A helicopter uses a propeller on the top to make it go up and down. And it has a propeller or a rotor in the back to control it going side to side, rotating. And it has an engine as well to make it go forward. But you know what's really cool about a helicopter? It can go backwards. They can go forward. They can go side to side and up and down. Pretty neat. Now, sometimes people can use helicopters to get from one place to another for travel. But a lot of times, helicopters can be used by the news, right? If they want to go over the freeways and take a look at the traffic that day. Or maybe firefighters, if they want to bring water to forest fires to drop on the fires and the trees. 
and police can use helicopters too when trying to find bad guys. Helicopters have a lot of great uses. Next, let's take a look at a paraglider. What is going on with this? There's wings, but there's no engine. There's not even really a thing. You're just strapped to that. What is going on? Well, you can go to the top of a mountain, or maybe, I guess, out of some sort of airplane, and you just jump. And this will help glide you slowly, safely, hopefully, gently, down to the ground. But there's no engine. So you're steering it by leaning side to side. And again, the wind is probably going to be a large part of where you end up going, kind of like the hot air balloon. But there's no engine. You just go, and it slowly, gently, nicely brings you down to the ground. That's pretty crazy. I think I prefer flying in something with an engine. That's just me. Now, let's take a look at something with an engine. Remember earlier when we talked about airplanes? This is a seaplane. Now, we're going to talk about, in other episodes, ways of getting around modes of transportation in the ocean, on sea, and water, and also on land. This is an airplane that can land on water. Wow, that's pretty cool. So if you're flying, maybe somewhere on a lake or up in Alaska, you might have to land in the ocean or lake somewhere. This is an airplane that can land on water. And it can also take off from water. Well, that's pretty neat. Well, that's really helpful if you're flying into somewhere that doesn't have a lot of land with a runway for a regular airplane. Maybe a lot of mountains around it, but it has a big lake. So that's a really good way for people who live there to maybe get food brought to them or if they have to get out for some reason. But very quickly, they can use a seaplane. Our next mode of air transportation is a blimp. Look at that big guy. Sometimes you'll see a blimp over a sporting event. It kind of hovers around. The air inside the blimp keeps it up like a hot air balloon, but this actually has propellers where it can guide the blimp in a certain direction. So a lot of times you might see them over a sporting event so you can get nice aerial pictures of the stadium. The last mode of air transportation that we are going to talk about today on this episode is a jet. <laughs> Wow, jets are fast. Now, the airplanes that we ride in, that we talked about in the very beginning to get from one place to another, those have jet engines. They're technically jets, too. But I'm talking about the kind of jet that maybe someone in the military would fly. Fast, fast jets where only one or two pilots are in it and no passengers. These things can move fast. That is a jet. Maybe sometimes you'll see them doing tricks if you're at like a carnival or a fair or over a sporting event when they do the national anthem. They move fast and they're loud too. They're so cool. That is a jet. I like jets. Well, I hope that you enjoyed this episode today where we talked about all different ways that you can travel in the air. Some, like airplanes, can make you go forward, and some, like helicopters, can make you go forward or backwards. Some have engines. Some don't. Some have wings. Others don't. So many different ways that you can get from here to there through the air, and even a rocket to all the way to outer space. Well, I had a great time with you guys today. Check out our other episodes that we'll have about land and sea transportation. And I'll see you guys next time on the Mr. Nick Show. Bye! Mr. Nick, 
Mr. Nick, he's our pick. It's Mr. Nick. Yay!